my beautiful, beautiful angels, how are we? It is day three of Vlogmas. Can we believe that I've done three videos in three days in a row? I know, fantastic. <laughs> you may realise that I look very similar to yesterday and that is because I'm still filming on day two Vlogmas, but I've got so many other commitments that I do want to like just film these short videos for you so I can get them out. So um, that we're not missing any of Vlogmas, you know? Now, I don't know if this is technically cheating or not, but I'm sure that you're okay with it. Please be okay with it. Because <laughs> it's the only way I'm going to get this done. I didn't realise how really, really lovely it would be to get something personalised for Christmas. I worked with eBay on an ad on Instagram and I thought, let me show you the stuff over here. I was so surprised, like genuinely so surprised when I got all the stuff and it was so easy to order from eBay. I thought it would be a faff. I thought the stuff might not be the best quality and I'm genuinely so so impressed if you follow me on instagram you would have seen this yesterday because it already went live as a reel as i say this isn't an ad or a sponsored or anything i will leave link the link down below for you if you want to go and shop but you're not obliged to i just thought we'd have a little chat if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel it really really helps me out i really hate having to say that so much but it's the only way for me to grow and if you know of anyone that wants to watch videos like this then please um like share my videos with them so that we can reach more people and do even more stuff on youtube yeah i hate that i hate that part and like, it's over and with but i hate that part so much a lot of this stuff that you see behind me is personalization stuff so let me grab the first thing that comes to mind this here is a little candlelight tea tea light holder but can you say it says christmas and then it says sade and rob at the bottom now you could gift this to say like to your mom or a friend or you could put your own uh, details on there like I have not only is it a tea light holder it's it holds three at the top it's actually also a little storage container so you could probably put some extra tea lights in with some matches or it could be like your secret little nook to hide something in there this is really really nice and simple so I have just paired it with this book and this little um people calling these gnomes but I think they're called gonks this gong tea light holder behind it and so simple very like neutral palette which is something that i'm very big on i'm gonna leave all of these linked down below for you so you know exactly what, what vendor to get them from that i got them from but not expensive very affordable and i would be happy to bring this out every single christmas and honestly at night time when it's lit it's so cute i have it on with all my candles I haven't yet lit this gnome this isn't from ebay but i can't wait to do a whole like cozy evening i think i'm gonna be decorating the house with the tree and stuff tomorrow so exciting i think so i think so let's see let's see um okay next thing is this merry christmas lantern and again let me show you up close it says from rob and sade if someone's in your in your home and they see it it's kind of like a little oh merry christmas from us sort of thing and also this is led so i had to put i think it was like two double a's or something or triple a's in the bottom but it actually lights up and it's so cute it's very very light it's not real metal it's made of plastic so it's kid friendly but it looks really realistic it looks like actual brushed metal even though it's plastic even like these little holes up here and everything and when it's on oh when all of the lights are off and it's really dark outside i've just got my lamp on in the corner which has got like a really warm bulb and then i've got like my lanterns my candles my tea lights it is a vibe and i've also been coming in here to do work in the evenings but putting the youtube fire burning um picture on well it's a video it's la last like four hours and um it's just so cozy so so cozy but yeah i'll link this down below again i'll literally link everything down below uh, next thing that i've got are these uh coasters now you could get whatever you wanted on them i don't think you can get one thing on each individual coaster because i was going to do that i was going to put like people's names on them so you could put them as like coasters for around the table at christmas you probably can from a different vendor so i'd keep looking but these ones i just got them all to say happy holidays just for an example and they are these off cuts of branches like tree branches now i love them and i was really happy with them the only thing that i would say is they have scratched my my coffee table which i was so gutted about not loads it maybe just takes a little bit of sanding on the bottom of them but i think they'd be better if they were like dipped in resin or something now the price reflects like the amount of effort gone in to kind of seal these and they're more of the rough and ready look because some people really love that like the rustic really earthy natural vibe but in terms of suitability on a table or a coffee table that scratches easily i wouldn't recommend but if you have got somewhere that you're like actually it's gonna be fine like maybe a glass side table or something like that or a plastic table that just is 
bulletproof then again i would highly recommend they're very seasonal they're very trendy with the season bring a lot of warmth and they're practical because you can put all your drinks on them and as i said you can use them as like not placeholders as like posters on the table but with people's names if you manage to personalize them like that okay the next thing i am not a cheese lover not at all but i've got a cheese board here but if you can see up close it says rob's cheese board now rob is a lover of cheese i feel i feel like 95 percent of the country is a lover of cheese and i'm missing out but i can still really appreciate how cute this is i love the little design on it i love the fact that it's circular and when you open it up it's got some really really pretty um cheese knives in there so you get the fork and then a couple of the knives and it's just really good quality like the way that this um kind of like turns to open you can display it open or display it closed it's got these little finger pockets so it makes it really easy to know where to open it it's got the ridge around there for extra detail and then look at the fonts used for the personalization i just think it's really 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 good quality and even the wood itself it's like you can tell it's been finished off so i feel like you could I think you're able to like put the cheeses on here and cut them on here and stuff but i probably wouldn't recommend that because over time you might damage the front of it just use like a separate small like plain board so that you can keep the integrity of this but um yeah i thought that was really nice and when rob saw it as well he's not really into all this stuff but when he saw that he was like oh i really like that <laughs> so if you are struggling to buy for a man men are so hard to buy for my brother and my dad every single year i'm like what do you want this year i asked my dad what he wants for christmas he was like i would like a um one of those leather bracelets i was like dad you need to tell me more than that because honest i can get that from the pound shop for a pound not that the m money matters but give me more i need more so stuff like this is a really good idea um the next thing is actually in here because i had to it's actually in here because i wrapped it for the reel that i did but i'm gonna actually unwrap it how cute is my wrapping by the way Ooh. don't look at the the back of it yeah not not the one but the front of it with the little leaves so i've had these for ages and they've just been sitting upstairs in my little craft box and i was like oh let me pluck a few of the stems out and then wrap them up with twine and then use brown paper very like reusable and recyclable goals right here but i am actually going to open this up to show you what's inside it's very similar to the last piece this is a chopping board very similar to the one before as you can see it says sade and rob and it's got estimated 2014 which is when we got together so this would actually be really nice for a couple and again it goes really nicely with like say the cheese board so if you had these all out on display you could have a really cozy night with your partner and um, have all your cheese board your grapes your chocolates everything like that and it just makes for a really nice setting okay the next thing i'm going to show is this crate Ugh, it's quite heavy if you love a little bit of diy a little bit of craftiness this comes flat packed so you can actually put it together yourself i'm not gonna lie i was sweating putting it together i was absolutely sweating it was so much harder than i thought because anyway it just was but it took about 10 minutes so it wasn't it wasn't ages i think i was just tired by the time i got around to it but it says on it mum's drinks bar merry christmas sade that probably should say from Sade, typo from me. But again, a really nice little gift. So um, I've just used some like exemplary stuff in here. I've got a bottle of sparkling wine, some gin, some macarons. You could totally get yourself a bunch of stuff for like a hamper that whoever you're gifting it to, you know that they love stuff like that. Things like crackers or really nice condiments, really nice bottles of alcohol or even soft drinks, their favourite chocolates and snacks and put it all in here. I know it says drinks bar but that's because I I personalised it to that. I literally chose all of this writing so you could have it as anything you wanted. Not the most astounding quality but this is what a crate looks like. You don't get like top-notch quality crates, you know what I mean? It's just like very significant that it's a crate and it's just really fun. Someone could put it on their countertop or use it in the summertime to like transport drinks to the garden from the kitchen. So it's reusable as well which I really like. Now the final two things, are they the final two things before I forget? I think they are. The final two things I don't care what age you are. I think everyone is going to be excited about this. I've never had one of these. I've never, maybe I have when I've been younger. I know that I've had a stocking. I've had stockings before, but I've never ever had, oof, I've never ever had these. Now this is a Christmas sack, a present sack. I don't know what they're called, but would you believe these two beauties have come all the way from eBay as well. And let me tell you, the quality on these is thick. Like, let me get you up close and personal. 
can you see i don't know if you can i feel like it might be showing you can you see the design it's almost like a bleached smooth hessian hmm. is there a better way to describe this probably <laughs> but i don't know right now but look at the designs this one says happy christmas Does it say happy or merry merry christmas sade with a love heart can you see the personalization and then this one here says um a lot so something like special delivery north pole mail for rob can you see the rob in the middle for rob and it says rush overnight delivery from santa's workshop to arrive on december 25th <laughs> these are so adorable they're so by the way they're filled with fake presents because i had to film a reel but i'm so excited to fill these with presents like i really 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 am and the quality is amazing they've got these red drawstring bags um sorry drawstrings to that you can close the bags with a really nice neutral color i was looking high and low for neutral ones and then i came across these and i was like sold so if you've got little bubbers or even if you've got a partner a girlfriend a boyfriend anyone that you think would appreciate having all of their presents shoved in here it just makes it so much more fun it adds like another layer is like i know that you can go downstairs and see all of the presents under the tree but imagine seeing a sack to the side and thinking oh my god there's more presents in there and it's just fun like it's like live your best childhood dreams through adulthood your kids would have these for their whole lives their whole lives i kid you not and again these were really affordable everything was so so affordable well there we go guys that was my little haul from ebay i hope that really helped um especially because it's the beginning of the month so you should be able to get some of these things in before christmas so you should have enough time i will link every single one of them down below if i can't link them then there are so many vendors and shops online that do similar things so have a look around see which ones you kind of like the person that you're buying for would kind of like and let me know if there are any other amazing finds that you come across and leave them for everyone else down below in the comment section but anyway guys that is it for day three of the vlogmas i really really hope that you enjoyed that video and i can't wait to see you again in the next one i think the next one's going to be a little bit different if not the next one then the one after it's going to be a little bit different so i hope that you enjoy that and i will see you tomorrow bye Mwah. hold up i am on my way i'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside